This is the plaintiff, Kimberly Carlson Ellis. She says the defendant towed her truck, then never contacted her to say he had it. She had no idea where the truck was. He didn't even have a right to tow it in the first place, and she's here suing him. For the $500, she's now out. This is the defendant, Garrett Lionel Paquette. He says the county sheriff's office called him and asked him to tow the plaintiff's vehicle because it was abandoned with no plates on it. He sent certified letters to the plaintiff informing her he had the vehicle. She ignored him, and he placed a lien on it. And if anyone's owed money, it's not the plaintiff. He's accused of pulling a tow job. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $1,197.20, the amount he's still owed. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court next case on the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant towed a truck and never told anybody that he had it. But the defendant says he called the cops and did his job. It's the case of sore toe. Thank you, Douglas. Kimberly Carson Alas. Yes. You are suing the car store of West Orange Incorporated, represented here by Garrett Lionel Paquette. You're the owner? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for $500 in tow fees and your travel expenses, um, because you believe you are being inappropriately charged, you are counterclaiming $1,197.20 for tow and storage that you have incurred since uh, towing the car. All right, let's backtrack and let's start from the beginning. Go ahead. The reason why we're here is because this past August, when I went to go renew my tag for my car, they wouldn't allow me to because there was a lien against my tag of my car. And then they gave me the information that I had to pay a 375 tow. Which brings us back to what year? 2017. What happened in 2017? In 2017, um, I had my car had broke down, and I had the AAA. What kind of car was it? It's a 2009 Ford Expedition. OK. Go on. Um, so it broke down. I have AAA, so I had it towed back to my house. During the meantime, code enforcement kept like coming to the house saying it was parked um, improperly, and so um, they said they were going to have it towed. And why was it parked improperly, according to them? They just said it was improperly parked. How I had it, and the neighbor was complaining on how the car was parked there. What was a neighbor complaining to you about? That the car was parked there for too long. But it's in front of my, I, it was like a big ordeal. Okay, so what do you do? So anyways, he gave me a $30 ticket. And so basically, it's like I didn't think nothing was wrong with the way my car was parked there. So I went to Orange County and filed a small claims with them. Against who? The um, Orlando Sheriff's Department, the code enforcement people in the neighborhood. Okay, so you all are from Orlando? Yes. Okay, go on. So from the code enforcement people, I filed a small claims court. We went to court. Are I won the case. You won. There was and what happened? What, did the judge give you an order saying you can park there all you want, or what? Yeah, he, he said that there was no evidence I could park there. It's in front of my house. Did they house. just not show up, or? Oh, the code enforcement people were there. So there was an actual hearing. And so he said you could park in front of your house. So that's great. And then what you did was, so you parked your 2009 Ford Expedition, which you still owed $8,000 on, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And I kept it parked there, and then like a week after that, it was totally, it was gone. It was gone. All right. And when you filed this lawsuit, you were complaining that you thought Holler Honda had taken it because you had stopped making payments on it. During that time, I wasn't behind on payments until the car was actually gone. And then you stopped paying? Yeah. OK. Did you know where your car was? No. OK. Did you try to find out? No. Why not? We were in the process of moving, and the car wasn't running. And it's like I was saving um, a tow on my AAA, because I thought, oh, Bonanza, they got yeah. rid of the car for me. Yeah. It was like one less thing for you to worry about. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Basically, really? yes. OK. So. It's gone. Uh huh. So it wasn't a problem until it was. Uh huh. Right. So now it's a problem for you because they put a lien on it. So you tell me, how did you end up coming in possession of that car, and uh, under what right did you tow it? Uh, April thirteenth, two thousand seventeen. Um, Is that about the time you were moving? Could be. Yeah. It's an o it's an O three expedition for the Department of Motor Vehicles. We, okay. It's an 03. We towed the vehicle for the Orange County Sheriff's Office. We towed the vehicle from the address. Uh, the vehicle came into our possession. 
Did uh, they issue a ticket to her? Uh, they did not issue a ticket. They but called you and said, You do have a copy of the tow sheet that I they do, gave I us? Do. First, give me a copy of, I'd like to see the original of the Orange County request that you took. This is the original, the original copy that our driver signs and receives that states that we have the vehicle, that we have the right to tow the vehicle. But okay. why? Because the tags were expired? We do not question that. No, what does it say? Here, we are contracted. But, it says abandoned vehicle over 48 hours is what it actually says on top of that. Okay. So abandoned vehicle over 48 hours. So they must have signs there that say you can't leave your car for more than 48 hours parked anywhere, or they have an ordinance that says you can't leave your car more than 48 hours without moving In it. In the county, there's an ordinance, man. Yeah. Okay. That has to be it. So that's what they say. I also happen to notice that it says here that the te the tag, the license tag expired 816 and your tow was a year l later almost. Actually, ma'am, when we towed the vehicle, there was no tag on it. No tag at all? There was no tag at all on the no vehicle. No tag at all? No, ma'am. Where these, was the tag? These are, these are the pictures of the vehicle when we towed Where it. Where was the tag? Why did you take the tag off? I didn't take the tag off. And, and also... But that makes sense. If you're abandoning a vehicle, you want to take the tag because you want to turn it in because you want to get the refund. And also, it was it was picked up by our, our operator. Your tow guy, does he fill out a tow sheet right away? Oh, yes. Does the tow sheet he say there's that. no tag on it? Um, our, our sheet shows that there is... A tag. Is no tag. It says no tag. That's yeah. what I'm asking. Okay, yeah. let me see that. Ours our says no tag. No tag. That's, That's what I wanted to okay. see. All right. And, so and also, it, it was abandoned with the keys in it. So if the tow truck company relied on the police, but the police got it wrong, is the tow truck company responsible for an illegal tow? I think it's the police responsible. But what about the tow truck company? No. Okay. What do you say? I would say yes, just because... Well, actually, maybe not, just because you have to listen to the Those were your two options. When, when you listen to the, Oh, I said yes to it. What do you say? <laughs> I say it's the tow truck company fault, and it, after you sue them or whatever, it's their job to handle it with the police. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. We tow it, and then our, our 713.78 uh, statute, Florida statute, says we have seven days from the time we tow a vehicle to notify the owner and the lien holder that we, have, we are in possession of the vehicle of which you have copies that we did send out a registered letter. Not once, but twice. Well, not once, but What'd twice. What'd you do with the registered letters? Somebody picked them up. According to the green card, yes, somebody did pick them up. Do you know who? Um, they do not supply us with that information. It just says that it is, uh, it is delivered to the address and it is received the, by And the address would be the last known address. Per the, and the thing is, the address was drive. Who's that? My parents. Okay, so your parents are signing for these things, and what kind of people are your parents? Evil people who don't tell you that they signed for certified mail? Or and are they telling you, and at the time, there's no, you got no skin in the game. This is there's nothing that it's gonna do to you to ignore it, because the last thing you wanna do is pay Holler Honda eight grand, nor do you wanna pay this man his toe, so it is far more expedient to say, woohoo, bonanza for me, my hands are, until the day it hurts you, because you did what? You put a lien. Put a lien on her driver's license and any future registration transactions. Yes, you did. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And when was the lien placed? The lien was placed on You're going to the get their attention at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, it would have been 10-6 of 17, which would have been the date that we received the certificate of destruction allowing us to legally dispose of the vehicle. Which you did. Absolutely. And so I, it's I, just crushed tuna now. Yes, ma'am. I, I have, I have, a, I have a, a, a copy of the executed certificate where it was sold for salvage for $250. And the fees that we are looking to collect in our counterclaim does, take deduct, into the does deduct the $250. Douglas, how much do I love it when people have Absolutely. their ducks yeah, this in a is, row? It's a rarity. How but rare it is. is it that I see people? It's been a long time. I don't even feel the usual angst I feel whenever a tow company's on that <laughs> side. Because like everyone else, um, I've been towed. Um, which I richly deserved each time. <laughs> and I don't come to court and sue about it. Right, true. So let me see if I have this right, Ms. Carlson. According to the police, you have committed an infraction and they fill out something that has them tow it. The police call them to tow it. They have a right to tow it because the police called them to tow it, that's law. And you want him to pay you $375 to, so that you have the $375 to pay him 
for a toe because you feel you should know it. Yes. <laughs> you want to, can I say something? Absolutely. Who are you? I'm uh, my husband. Come on up. Why are you suing him? What did he do wrong? I Go ahead. You want to pipe up? No, I guess he did his job. Right. He did his job. So, why? On what? Have you ever watched the people's I have, court? I have. Okay. <laughs> so, on what planet and with what legal grounds would I look at him and say, dude, give him back their car and pay 800 and something dollars? And not only that, we have proof that he did everything by the book, which means you got to pay the storage fees now. How's that taste? Not too good. Not too good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's go over your storage fees. Because ordinarily people. Storage outdoor $20 a day. Is that the, the maximum allowed by? That's our contract rate. How long have you been in business? 50 years. You? Uh, no, my mom and dad started it in 1969, and it's the only business I've ever known. And uh, we try to do it right and treat everybody correct. We're responsible for a lot of roadways in the Central Florida area. Are your mom and dad still with us? Unfortunately, no. They've been gone almost 20 years. Well, they're looking down from above now and looking to see how they taught their boy, which is pretty good. So I find on your lawsuit against him, a zero, and on his lawsuit against you, $1,197.20 verdict for the defendant. Thank you very much. Well, it was not a good day for the plaintiff here in the People's Court. You made a lot of mistakes, didn't you? Yes, I did. You're smiling, but you've got to be okay. embarrassed. A little uh, bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't believe you left your car with the keys out in front of your house. Were you just itching for somebody to take it? Mm. Seriously, what are you thinking? Nothing, really. Did like, you hope it disappeared? Yeah. It you was did? already broken. It wasn't working, so. You just hoped it would wake up and it'd be gone. Yes. And one day it was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it cost you money. Okay. Well, look, I'm sorry for you. You ignored a lot of letters, certified letters. Uh, big mistakes. Okay. Big mistakes. Hope you learned from this. Oh, we yes, we did. Think you did? Thank you. Okay, okay goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Mr. Marquette, you came off looking like a hero here. I mean... Well, I don't know about being a hero. No, I mean, we just, you know, most people hate tow guys, but you did everything by the book. We always have done everything by the book. I just hope that other towing companies do the same thing. And, of course, today the law prevailed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okie dokes. Good enough. Harvey, amazing. What do you think? I mean, to get the money back from the tow truck company, you have to prove the tow truck company did something wrong. The fact is they relied on the police. They have a right to rely on the police. They were in the right.